Welcome to Society X. Today we are going to talk about 5 best psychological horror games. 1. Amnesia The Dark Descent. Amnesia The Dark Descent is a survival horror adventure video game by Frictional Games, released in 2010 for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X and Linux operating systems. In 2016 for the PlayStation 4 platform and in 2018 for the Xbox One. The game features a protagonist named Daniel exploring a dark and foreboding castle called Brennenburg, while trying to maintain his sanity by avoiding monsters and unsettling events. The game was critically well received, earning two awards from the Independent Games Festival and numerous positive reviews. 2. Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is a first-person psychological horror survival video game developed and published by Red Barrels. It is the sequel to the 2013 video game Outlast, and features a journalist named Blake Longshireman, along with his wife Lynn. Roaming the Arizona desert to explore the murder of a pregnant woman only known as Jane Doe, Blake and Lynn get separated in a helicopter crash and Blake has to find his wife while traveling through a village inhabited by a deranged sect that believes the end of days are upon them. 3. Resident Evil 8 Village. Resident Evil Village is a survival horror game developed and published by Capcom. The sequel to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard 2017. Players control Ethan Winters, who is searching for his kidnapped daughter after a fateful encounter with Chris Redfield. He finds himself in a village filled with mutant creatures. While Village maintains the Resident Evil series survival horror elements, the game adopts a more action-oriented gameplay style compared to its predecessor. Resident Evil Village also includes an online multiplayer mode. The game was announced at the PlayStation 5 reveal event in June 2020 and was released on May 7, 2021, for Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series 10 or S and Stadia. Resident Evil Village received generally favorable reviews, being praised for its gameplay, setting, and variety, although it received criticism for its puzzles and boss battles. The game's increased focus on action over its predecessor received more mixed opinions. 4. Little Nightmares 2. Little Nightmares 2 is a puzzle platformer horror adventure game developed by Tarsier Studios and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. It is the prequel to 2017's Little Nightmares. In Little Nightmares 2 you play as a little boy named Mono who joins forces with Six, the protagonist of the original game, to survive the terrifying Pale City. Like the original, this is a puzzle platformer that inspires fear and gets your heart racing in new and creative ways and its disturbing visuals and creepy atmosphere are likely to stay with you long after you put the controller down. The game was released for Microsoft Windows, Stadia, Nintendo Switch. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on February 11, 2021. Versions for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series 10 or S are set to be released at a later date in the same year. The game received mostly positive reviews upon release, with critics praising its graphics, atmosphere, gameplay and sound, while criticizing its controls and some glitches. Within one month of release, the game had sold 1 million units worldwide. 5. The Medium. The Medium is a psychological horror video game developed by Bloober Team that was released for Microsoft Windows and Xbox Series 10 RS on January 28, 2021. If you like your horror games to lean more into psychological scares than jump scares then the medium could be exactly what you're looking for. In the medium you play as, funnily enough, a medium called Marianne who lives between the real world and the spirit world. As Marianne you travel to an abandoned hotel, looking to find the answers behind visions of a dead girl. 
What follows is a story with plenty of twists and unsettling characters, bolstered by an atmospheric score which work together to form a classic and clever horror game. The medium is not a long game, clocking up around 11 hours of play, but this Xbox exclusive packs a lot of good stuff into that time and could really scratch an itch for a short, sharp thrill between long, open world games. Thanks for the watching.